What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to The Who. Yes, indeed, The Who fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Daniel Tull, Angie Zetland Von Kissel, and Sly Cobro. They all wanted to see me react to this song by The Who, featuring Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm, with a song called Song of Women. Cool. Um, you would think it'd be called Song for Women, but, you know, whatever. It, it's all good. It's all good. Song of Women it is. Uh, now, have I heard the song before? No. To the best of my knowledge, I have not heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a chance I may have heard this song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Better Noise Music, okay, and the video has 4.8 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. The Who, Song of Women, featuring Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm. Official music video. Oh, that word official. Yeah, it always makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this won't get blocked. Block! Block! We shall see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. They're getting the harmonies in there um, against not not so much but not so much from a vocal harmonic standpoint. I'm not hearing any vocal harmonies, but I'm hearing the harmonies being formed between the vocals and the instrumentation. They're not playing in unison. Uh, the vocals are coming up and doing the third above the root note that the instruments are playing, and that's really cool. Well, they're going to the fourth first. They're going to the fourth and then resolving down a, a semitone to the major third. Very cool, very effective, very pleasing to the ear. I like that. Let's keep going. Thank you. 
gorgeous that was beautiful it was so good i'm sorry i know i'm gonna get hell for it but I'm, i gotta go back i hear it again no no listen hey i don't care it's my show if i want to go back i want to hear it again I, i'm we're gonna go back i'm gonna hear it again listen transitioning from that verse into the i'm not sure if this is pre-chorus or if this is chorus I'm not sure. All I know is there was a transition into a new phrase, and she went up into the upper range, and you talk about a complimentary tone between her range going up to where the, the who are down low. On the, it's a great blend. It's a great blend. Oh, my gosh. Whew, brought a tear to my eye. It's hitting me right in the feels. Oh, God. Uh. <clears throat> it's hitting me right in the feels, not in a bad way. It's just, it, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the contrasts between the upper register notes blending with those, those throats. That that the, the tribal throat style that the tribal throat singing is just is gorgeous, and they add the other layers in with the instrumentation. It's it's beautiful, man. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'm just stalling. I, I'm stalling right now to give me a chance to compose myself because I don't want to be a blubbering mess. That's the truth. Anyway, um, let's let's get back into it.
swells, man. They're going up into the, the, the pitch swells, going with those glissandos from the five to the octave. Every time she does that, it chokes me up a little bit each time. So she does it repeatedly, it's, <laughs> it gets me choked up. And as I'm fighting that one off, the next one hits, and it's just like, oh, God, I'm not going to win this fight. Um... Her voice is so conducive to the Who's style. Like, I was sitting there thinking to myself when I saw it was, you know, the Who with Lizzie Hale. And I thought to myself, is this going to fit? Is her vocal style going to fit? And then I thought to myself, remembering the one song that I've heard from Lizzie Hale, and it had a little bit of that grit and a little bit of that gruff. And I'm sitting to myself, sitting here thinking to myself, it could. It could work. It, as long as she doesn't stay clean, if, if she tries to get all all pretty and clean, it's not going to work that well. But if she comes out with the fire and the power and the passion and that little bit of grit and gravel in her voice, it's going to be very conducive. And huh, here we are. Here we are. Um, let's keep going. transition to a three against the four it did transition to a triplet field i thought i was hearing things at first and no, i'm not hearing things they really did it they really transitioned smooth very smooth <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> wow, uh, this song's got a lot going for it, a lot, this song has a lot going for it, um, we'll talk about it, I'll see you in the review, we'll, we'll talk about it, I promise. Well, there you go, folks. That was The Who with Lizzie Hale with a song called Song of Women. Uh, this was a request from Daniel Tall, Angie Zetland Von Kissel, and Sly Cobro. Okay, I have a score. I'm going to give you the score, and I'm going to tell you why I came up with that score and how I came up with that score in five minutes or less. Okay, first of all, the score. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm going to give that a 9.1. Yep, 9.1. 
I feel great about that score. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, let's not waste time here. Um, let me get the easy stuff out of the way, okay? The instrumentation that The Who uses is fantastic. I, I know I've... In my very first reaction to The Who, I did go through and I did name all the instruments. And I got a lot of heat for that, if you could believe that. Yeah, a lot of people were giving me a lot of hell. And uh, saying that I was just trying to be a know-it-all. And I'm just trying to be, you know, some sort of a show-off just because I know the names of the instruments. So, I'm not going to go into the names of the instruments. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to catch any more hell, okay? Uh, if you want to know what the names of the instruments are, go look at the first Who reaction I did. Um, you, you can see that. It was for Wolf Totem. You can go check it out there. Um, but the use of the instrumentation is always a big factor to getting the type of sound that you want out of a song. I know that sounds a little silly, but a lot of people just don't understand that. You can't just take two guitars and get the exact same sound every single time. There's always variations. And there are different guitars even have different sounds. I mean, it, it's very true. You know, different pickups, different, uh, different pickup configurations, always different. Now you're taking totally different instruments and throwing into this, in the mix. You're going to get some very unique sounds. And the Who have definitely figured out their sound without question. They know the type of sound they're going for, they know the type of tones they're going for, and they definitely are able to get those sounds and those tones out of those instruments. So, great job to them. Uh, the vocal style of uh, The Who with that, that tribal throat singing, very, very cool. Uh, it fit this song like a glove. I'm going to get back to more of that in a little bit uh, in context of something else I'm going to discuss. Uh, the feel of the song, having that 6-8 feel, that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But then here's the thing, it had that feel, but it was still technically in 4. You know, it was still 1, 2, 3, 4. But then, towards the end of the song, they went into more of a straight... Four against the three feel that one two three one two three one two three one two three almost with like a double time feel in the drum so may it sound less like six eight and more like a, a triple feel within the four itself um it was cool it was a nice transition i thought my ears were playing tricks on me at first i was like oh it almost sounds like three against the four no it actually was three against the four I just missed it at first because I thought my ears were playing tricks on me. Because they did it so smoothly and so seamlessly. Um, fantastic job on their part on that. Okay, Lizzie Hale. Let This is where I'm going to spend most of my time talking. Lizzie Hale's vocal style. If I'm thinking about female vocalists singing a song with The Who, there are not too many female vocalists that come to mind, to be honest with you. Lizzie Hale is one of them. But it didn't hit me at first. When I first saw Lizzie Hale was doing this, I was like, is this going to work? Is this going to fit? But then I thought about it, and I'm like, actually, remembering what I do remember from the first and only uh, Hailstorm song I've done so far, she did have some rasp. She did have a little bit of a, a grit and growl to her voice when she wanted it. She's definitely a powerful rock singer. It could fit. It could fit very well if it's done correctly. Boy, was it done correctly. Um, when you're able to have a blend that elicits an emotional response. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people probably get emotional over this song because of the subject matter or the lyrics or the context of the reasoning and the purpose behind the song. I don't pay attention to any of that. I only focus on the instrumentation, melody, harmony, music structure, stuff like that. So if you're able to get an emotional response out of me with just that, just melodic structure, harmonic structure, then you know you're doing something right. Because I was not taking the context of this song into account in any way, shape, or form. I wasn't taking imagery into account in any way, shape, or form. It got the emotional response out of me strictly based on Portal structure, tonal structure, the the combination of Lizzie Hale's voice beautifully blending with the Who's tribal throat style singing. And it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it did elicit several emotional responses out of me. I didn't break down bawling, 
but I got choked up several times. I even teared up a couple. So there's no denying it. There's absolutely no denying it. And that is one of the contributing, the main contributing factors to this song getting a 9.1. Did it blow my mind? Yeah, it kind of did because it blew away my expectations. I remember thinking to myself, this could work. There was no could about it. This worked flat out. It blew my expectations out of the water. And that's why it's getting the 9.1. So, 9.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content is dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.